joined by the former Solicitor General of India, Mohan Parasaran. Uh, sir, amid this lockdown, uh, people are facing a lot of hardships. And I would like to ask you, how is the work for Ayodhya uh, building continuing? As this is the place for all the Ayodhya team to meet, sir. Kindly enlighten our audience. Yeah, I think now no meeting can take place. Yeah. And uh, uh, the government has, uh, in fact, uh, appointed uh, Mr. Nirpendra Mishra uh, as uh, one of the persons who will be overseeing the construction activities and he has visited the site and I think uh, they are considering various options but in the meanwhile this uh, lockdown has happened and uh, as we all saw there was a uh, a small function yesterday yeah. and the construction activities should begin soon after the lockdown is lifted and hopefully the coronavirus actually is uh, gone from the world I say. And sir also how the legal conferences are happening now are they happening digitally uh, anything that is working digitally? Generally speaking, uh, as far as uh, legal conferences are concerned, some of my work, I have been doing it by video conferencing, particularly where we have to render very urgent opinions or uh, where there was uh, a scheduled uh, arbitration, international arbitration, yeah. uh, where we had to now resort to actually fixing of dates or uh, finalizing issues. Uh, we have just met only to just fix uh, later dates and also finalize issues. And apart from that, I think there has uh, not been any serious business. Because uh, this is a global, I think, phenomenon, I say. It has affected the entire globe. Sir, during this lockdown, as Prime Minister Narendra Modi has recently announced that there will be a 21-day lockdown. So during this lockdown, so how are you passing your time? What do you do? Yeah, it's quite rather distressing. Yeah. See, we see people suffering. Yeah. That has psychologically affected everybody, I say. Hmm. And uh, I watch TV to just keep progress as to what is happening in the country and across. Yeah. And closely watch the movements. We also saw the statement of the finance minister this afternoon. Yeah. But otherwise, I think this is a time to have introspection about uh, our own selves, I say. Correct. Everybody and also to improve ourselves, mm. improve our knowledge. Mm. And uh, in fact, uh, I actually, for 11 years, mm. I had not even looked into some of my music collections, mm. which uh, was lying in one of my rooms. Yeah. And uh, they were actually converted from spools. Yeah into CDs. Yeah. Those days actually converting it to CDs was a big job. Yeah. Now of course technology has improved. I am now trying to convert those CDs into pen drives. You know? Coming to that, you have a special uh, you know, love for Carnatic music and badminton. So are you making time for all your hobbies when you have uh, been given the opportunity? Yeah, now I think uh, I have been trying to catalog those CDs. Yeah. Uh, so that I think it would be easier for me to actually, when I convert it into pen drive, when things become normal, yeah. it will be much more easier mm. for me to handle you know, things. Yes. And uh, I think I can uh, give the CDs to some good organization. That was what I was planning. And secondly, I am trying to browse through various... Uh, uh, websites and also judgments of uh, co quotes have been pronounced recently 
and also old judgments yeah. and uh, listening to music or religious uh, discourses uh, this has been my passion from childhood otherwise i think uh, that's the only way to spend time i say usefully so sir uh, what is your message for all the violators who are still coming out despite uh, you know the appeal made by the prime minister and also lockdown is one of the most effective preventive measures that people should comply in order to contain the virus yeah absolutely yeah see experience as the prime minister himself was telling hmm. the government of india considered the experience in other countries and the prime minister was sending home the message quite clearly yeah. lockdown was uh, the only solution and uh, people should take it very very seriously yeah. and since people did not take it seriously i think italy has been the greatest of casualties and i was actually watching uh the news channel one of the news channels where a british citizen was saying that he feels safer to be in china than even in britain yeah because the measures which china took actually have been remarkable yeah even though i think there have been lots of criticism against china yeah. of course i have my own personal views i think uh, lots of pointers towards china but i can't comment now yeah. i think it's better for uh, people holding high offices yeah. to comment yeah. but uh, there has been some i think uh, culprit it's a day of uh, biological war people were talking about it people like bill gates talked about it 5 years back mm. there has been warnings now it's a good warning and uh, let us see how world progresses this is a good lesson but you say stay at home yeah mm. we have to stay at home mm. whatever may be the reason not stir out mm. because you do not know no hey, see you may not be the carrier mm. you might meet a carrier yeah. so that was the former solicitor general of india mr mohan parasaran this is sumi rajapan for republic media network with video journalist yashpal new delhi hi everyone i am sujarita kukreti thanks for checking out republic world if you would like to watch more show highlights and live coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the republic world news app for breaking news alerts thanks for watching